the dichotomy of thinking. What is dichotomy? Dichotomy talks about morals that are different and also they oppose each other. So in regards to this, we we talk about the dichotomy in educational and economic thinking. So what I'm stating here is that there are uh, differences, uh, different models and opposing models in education and in, economy, in, in the economics of uh, how things work. So we have to begin to realize that these differences do exist. Not just to brush them under the carpet and say, oh, no, no, we're not going to deal with it. No, well, uh, uh, the, uh, we've only been exposed to, to one model. And we see where that model is right now. We see uh, the Caucasian model. Uh, there are two models. Uh, we have the African black model and then the Caucasian white model. We all know where the Caucasian white model is today. His educational system is a failure. His economic system is a failure. So, why? Because thinking is a, has to have a model, a model that we address the education and a model that we address the economy of states. If the European uh, Caucasian uh, model has landed the whole of humanity in this failed state, in this chaotic state, so what kind of a model is it? Well, the European model, the Caucasian model, is what you see right here. See those lines, those bars? Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. You know, they use colors too. But it's all in a straight line. And so the philosophy of the European model, of the Caucasian mo model, is if I'm broke, it, <laughs> yeah, I'm speaking American language now. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So they are telling you if nothing breaks, don't fix it. So just let it go. Come on, just leave it, leave it alone, man. Don't touch it. Nothing's wrong. Just leave it alone, man. Let it, let it move on. So you keep leaving it alone, leave it alone. It's like Italy right now. Italy had its economic problems about 20 years ago. Hey, man. Leave it alone, leave it alone. Don't, don't touch it. America too. America has had its uh, uh, economic problems. No. Uh, the Congress goes and says, don't touch it, don't touch it. Nothing, nothing is wrong. So today, it's broken. Well, it started breaking apart. We saw what happened in, in 2009. It's not going to get better. So then, here comes the dichotomy part. The, the dichotomy is if this European model is a failed system, we've got to come back to the original model. The original model is the T, the T system, the triangle. The triangle. So you look at the triangle, you see the pyramid. And that's what you're seeing right here. So the triangle. Okay, now, hey, 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 come on, come on. Hold, hold on. Hold on, you, Professor Momo. What are you talking about the triangle? Well, the triangle. The triangle. Even Caucasians have used the triangle. <laughs> they have used it. They know it works. Look at the Lakers. The Lakers have won more championships than any other team in the NBA. Why? Because their coach uses the triangle method. The triangle, it works. So it's nothing, uh, you know, I mean, you, you can go around and say Africans are primitive. Go on, it's because you said it, you said it all, all, of your, all your life. Uh, that's no longer any news to us. But we are now coming to tell you that uh, we are primitive, but you are stupid. And so, you, you know, it's just an exchange of uh, 
uh, discussions again so here it is that's the dichotomy again okay you say we are primitive all right we are primitive we accept that that's what you said not that that's what we are but then we say you are stupid but see the, the good thing about it is that we can prove that you are stupid but you can't prove that we are we are we are primitive because here it is your own brother is there uh, uh, the coach Phil, uh, Phil, Phil Jackson of the Lakers proved it to you he uses the triangle the triangle method which is observe transform and calibrate observe transform calibrate and then stabilize look at the triangle that's why I'm giving you the triangle observe transform calibrate and stabilize okay so I'm going to the next page and I will get into more details on that but this is an introduction to know the triangle the triangle works the Lakers have proven it over and over you see the way Kobe Bryant plays look at the way that boy plays he wraps around you man look at this that's what you need this linear thinking doesn't work your linear thinking doesn't work it doesn't work on the football field it doesn't work in the basketball court it doesn't work in your medical system it doesn't work anywhere your economic system it doesn't work so why is this we will now focus on the African model the African model is what you see right here on the left hand side how did the African model of education and economy come about well as you can see uh, you see the stars up there in the dark universe so first of all the background is black dark dark universe that's what we're showing and then up there in the skies you see the stars so you can see that there's a strong foundation here with the African model that the African model goes beyond uh, the uh, very basic aspects of uh, things where you look at simplicity uh, like a straight line and you walk your way uh, along along with a straight straight line. In other words, you basically uh, are looking for a walking stick, as if you are um, handicapped. You are a handicapped person uh, walking, uh, trying to find your way around with a walking stick. No, the Africans doesn't do that. We look straight into the skies, and so that's what you're seeing here with the three uh, wise African women, the three uh, priestesses. Now, certainly you you are familiar with what I've said all along. That is the three African priestesses that invented calculus, uh, trigonometry, as well as geometry. It, this is fully documented about 7,000 years ago. Uh, and this invention came about because of what they saw in the, uh, in, in the skies. There was a supernova, an exploding star. So they kept observing, which is what the triangle is about, the pyramid is about. They kept observing and observing the star. But they didn't have uh, enough room in uh, Equatorial Africa uh, to fully calibrate. See, and therefore we have calibrate on the triangle. See, they didn't have enough room in Africa to fully calibrate uh, what was happening in the sky. So uh, these three beautiful queens here, priestesses, queens, the most learned in all of human history. These beautiful queens uh, traveled on canoes onto the, the land that we call Kemet. It doesn't matter to me how you want to call it. You call it Egypt, that's on you. But I call it Kemet, the land of the blacks. Kemet is the land of the blacks, the land of us African people. So they calibrated and so uh, they observed there in, in Kemet, these beautiful queens uh, calibrated the, uh, what, they, the, what they were observing and so they laid down the foundation for the pyramids so it was a transformation now so here we have uh, the, the observation process happened the calibration process happened in terms of mathematics and then the transformation happened in terms of laying the foundation for the pyramids see and so the building of the pyramids was now the stabilization of everything that they had done and so that's the reason why African civilization was so powerful because it was a stable civilization it was a, it, it was based on the triangular system the triangle that I mentioned uh, on the previous page about what um, uh, coach Jackson used, used when he was coach of the Lakers 
uh, to coach the, the Lakers, and so the Lakers became the most successful. So, and this is just obvious. I mean, you, uh, you see that the Lakers are an excellent team, or they were under uh, uh, Coach Jackson. So our system works. This is centuries, centuries, centuries old system that works. These priestesses didn't go sit in a laboratory. These priestesses didn't go coming with some theory here, some uh, some uh, 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 philosophy here. No nonsense of that kind. Because had they gone in that direction, they would have been liars, deceivers. They observed the universe and then they wrote down the formula. And so that's what you see. Now to your right hand side, you see the Caucasian model, model again about the same if it's unbroken don't fix it if it's not broken don't fix it so now you know you got their uh, teacup there full of white milk teacup full of white milk the the cup tips over and then you go bah, 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 bah. it's all broken now the milk is all scattered all over the place now they come and then begin to wipe it up and now you think they are going to fix that cup no are ah, they gonna patch a, 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 a teacup? Let's go make another one. So they go making one teacup after another, make another teacup after after the other, and as they do that, they are de depleting the planet of natural resources. They are throwing the waste products into the rivers and the oceans, and they they are destroying the universe. So what do you get out of these people? Well. You, all you get out of it is just the thinking of a Lilliputian, and that's what we have here. Here it is. You got Alexander, Alexander the Greek, Alexander the Greek. You can call him whatever you want to call. I call him Alexander the Greek. Uh, Alexander is is asking his boy there, Plato. Hey, Plato, why do Africans know so much and we know so little? Yeah, that's Alexander asking Plato, your philosopher. Why, hey Plato, why do Africans know so much and we know so little? Then Francois Champollion comes in. Francois Champollion says, hey, 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 come on. You guys stop running your mouth. Africans know so much because Africans are 100 feet tall giants. Africans are the 100 feet tall giants. We are the Lilliputians. And also, Africans got the T. Africans got the triangle. Africans got the pyramid. I'm Professor Momo. I look forward to hearing from you.